Hi, this is Patrick. Uh, this is just a quick thing on how I set up the Julia repository on my local machine for Git. Uh, so I'm just going to walk through how I do the initial setup um, so that I can easily get pull requests or in my my case to direct merges. Um, so here's my GitHub page. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to actually go to my branch of Julia. I'm going to go to the main one. Um, and uh, I actually do have read access to this, so I'm going to copy this URL. So what I'm actually going to clone is this repository. Not mine. Uh, and I'm going to call this one origin. So I'm going to clone uh, github.com julialang, julia.git, um, as... I already have a Julia, so I'm just going to make a new Julia. So I'll do the initial clone here. And this shouldn't take but a minute. Uh, so while that's doing its thing, so now after I do that, I'm going to go back to my Julia here and pull this link. All right, so now we've done this initial clone of Julia. Um, at least I thought I no, oh, except I called it Julia, New Julia. See, New Julia. Okay. So here it is. Here's my fresh clone of the Julia Lang's Julia repository. So if I now look at uh, Git Remote uh, dash V, so you can see now that uh, the remote named origin points at the Julia Lang repository. So I do want to be able to get to my repository. So I'm going to add a remote. Um, and that's this one. I'm going to call that remote mine. Except I need to use the correct argument order. There we go. And now you see there are uh, there's there's one at origin and one at mine. What I want to do now so we'll list the branches. So there's a branch at master. Now this master branch is tracking Julia Lang's master, not mine. Uh, what that lets me do is it lets me pull updates into uh, from from the mainline Julia development into my local copy. Um, and so uh, I guess well this this video is not very long. So let me just quickly walk through how I would go about making a new patch. Um, so I think that might be that might be valuable. Okay, so here we are. We've got these remotes. Uh, let's say I want to make a, a little patch. So let's uh, get uh, checkout dash b. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out a new a new branch. So I'm going to create the branch with this uh, dash b option, um, which I will call uh, I'll call it trivial. Okay. Now it says I've switched to a new branch, and if I look at the branch branches that exist. There's one on master, one on trivial. And I'd see you can see that I'm currently on trivial, which I can get the same thing from get status or the shortened version which I've aliased. Um <clears throat> All right, so let's go make my patch. Uh oh, let's see here. Let's uh this extras. Mm, what should I mess with? I should probably mess with one of my one of my files. Uh extras. Um. Well, let's do stir pack. That's a classic. All right. Uh, so let's say make Emacs fit on the screen here. There we go. Um. So let's say uh, had a brilliant idea that was very small. Um, so I'll go to the end of the file, and uh, let's just make a new function. Uh, um, man, I don't know. I can't believe Well, sure. Okay. So there's this new function. It takes a single struct argument, and it just returns the same thing. But it's brilliant, and we should keep it. So... Save that. Uh, now you actually you can see here that um, 
Emacs is telling me that I'm on the trivial branch, which is where I want to be. And now I have one modified file, stripack.jl. So I usually like to look at the diff and make sure it's what I expect it to say, and it is. Uh, I'll do this the two-stage way. Add uh, uh, extra stirpack git commit dash m. I'll git commit. I'll let it open up in here. A really silly trivial commit. And we'll do that. And so now we have our commit. And now this branch is clean. Now if we look quickly at um, the log, so so I'm building off of what whatever with the the newest thing at master when I did the branch was, um, which was uh, this commit by Tim, and so now I've thrown one on top of that, and that's sitting on my on on my local branch here called Trivial. Now this doesn't exist on GitHub yet, so if I go back to to here and I refresh and I look at the branches oops I scroll down so we can read all the branches uh, if we look at the branches there's none called trivial so now let's say I want to go ahead and create a pull request off of this so I will need to push it to my repository now if we go back to looking at the remotes um, instead of calling uh, mine uh, origin I'm calling mine mine so what I want to do is take this branch called trivial uh, and push it to the mine remote uh, and currently head is that is where I'm at and that's uh, if I uh, scroll back up a bit so you can see here that head is currently at uh, on where, where trivial is, is so I just want to push that so now we do that push and if I refresh this I have a recently pushed branch called trivial which contains uh, which contains this new totally awesome function in it now let's say uh, that uh, I wanted to pull in some change uh, before well let's say I've been working on this really awesome function for a few days uh, and I needed to make yeah, and I needed to, to before the pull request uh, make sure everything's still run what I would normally do then is I'd go ahead and check out master like so so now I'm back on master and if we look at the log you see that the commit I just made isn't there Um, so you just check out master get to, so what this will do so when I do this pull what the pull is going to pull from is Julia Lang because that's where this branch was created from it won't pull from my repository so I never have to care about my ma the master on PAO Julia uh, on github just don't have to care about it so that'll do that um, and then I want to switch back to the branch I'm working on And then I want to take my commit. This won't do anything in this case. Um, and I want to place all the commits on this branch on top of what's currently on master. Now you could also do this by pointing at origin master. Uh, origin master. Um, but again, I like to just do it locally. So uh, of course it's up to date in this case, so it won't do anything. But that's how I would go 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 and do that update. Uh, and then do the same process of pushing to the um, to the remote repository. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. Thank you.